Hey guys, this is SH and welcome back to more Monster Stage Real So, basically, we're in the Nash Gallon Mines right now. And, yeah, I know the exact way to get through this entire area. So, I don't know if I'm going to do the side quest. I don't know if I decide to do that. There isn't really a ton of side quests here. Mostly, it's like a big maze. But if you actually go down this way and just kind of follow this road and then go this way. Um, I think I'm coughing up blood. Uh, sorry, I got more important things to do. That guy gives you a quest, but we're not going to do it because we're going straight through. So you follow this way and then eventually you'll hit this right here. This is where you want to go. Now, I'm not going to do this in all the dungeons, but there's really not a whole lot in this particular dungeon until you get to this second area. So, there's that. So, I'm going to quick save right now. And then I'm going to kind of go forward with this guy. And if you talk to this guy, you're going to get ambushed. And there's not really a way to avoid it. It says they're coming, giving you demons are everywhere. Save me. Demons? Question mark. <laughs> and so, these guys just kind of ambush you. And they're just regular kobolds, and kobolds are like Bold fodder. Break. They don't That'd even give you too much experience. And that's kind of another one of the reasons that it's kind of uh, lame to sit around and uh, just like let like hang out with these these guys. Because let's, let's see how much experience I got. Um, I got six XP. So what's that's one XP per person. <laughs> And uh, I don't even know if you can get less than an XP point, but for people who are dual class, I mean, you have to think, like, she's getting half an experience point or something like that. I wonder if that's even possible or if it doesn't even, like, function like that. So, uh, so yeah, the faster we can get through this area, the better. So I'm just going to, like, make a beeline straight for it. Uh, beeline. It's kind of a weird expression. Beeline. Bees are curvy. So, I don't know. But I'm gonna, um, oh, no use to I'm gonna make a straight line oh, straight clear. towards the exit of this dungeon, with, with or rest. straight towards the end anyway. We stop. So one of the um, things you gotta be careful of is there's gonna be lots of kobolds like this, and even though the kobolds themselves are aren't particularly um, worth a lot, doesn't mean that they can't hurt you. But um, Khalid's kind of really tanky. He has like, what does he have? He's got minus four, and he's got a large shield, so he's got it down. There we go. Then what I'm gonna do is actually pick up a lot of the the arrows left behind, the gems, of course, because I have that gem bag. I think necklaces count as gems. Tell me a story. Right? Yep, they do. So I can put these in there now. And I can open this container, and then I, it holds like a bunch of gems for me. Now, Do you want to tell me a story about just so you guys know, that is a, a Boulder's Gate 2 Another thing. Like, that's not normally a thing that's in the game itself. That's that's something that is in this mod. It's called um, um, it's called Bags of the Sword Coast. It's like an add-on that's part of the actual mod itself. So I just double quick saved, but. Um, so it, it makes it so that you can buy some bags, and that's really good because uh, uh, it's just it just helps you out so immensely organizing your inventory and stuff. You don't want to be stuck around with uh, just like random amounts of stuff, uh, just like gems and stuff, and you just have to like toss them. It's like throwing away money. So what they did was they added those bags so that you could just store lots of gems in one area. Click on someone your own side. And as you can see, it is awesome. So All right, so now we're at the end of this one, so I'm going to quick save it before we go to the next area. And you must um, party before As I said before, this forward. this area itself isn't particularly worth exploring. I don't think there's like magic items or anything like that. If I remember correctly, the only magical items I'm pretty sure at the end. Joseph's greenstone ring. Hmm, that might be worth picking up. Just, just solely because uh, I might run into him. Maybe I forget if he's actually in the mine or if he's like somewhere else. Now this is when things start getting a bit more complicated because um, there's going to be traps. So I, I know that because I played this game a lot, but. You might not know that, so just be aware that there are traps in here. Um, there was one right there, and then I think there's one. There's more down this way, like right here. I think there's more right here. 
I've done had enough of this. Find traps. Find more traps. Uh, are they right here? I can't remember. I it has been a best. long time. Oh, they're right here at the beginning of the bridge, I think. Do you want to tell me a story about? She could just have fine traps. Oh, there they are. Oh, crap. See, I don't want to like. I don't want to send my non-range guy through all these traps because then he can die. Oh, as he goes for it, he goes for it. Oh my gosh, he did it anyway. <laughs> Awesome. Whatever. So that was just my bad. My bad micromanaging. And grab these. Like, this is a good area to stock up on arrows. If you just like killing kobolds, you can just get tons of arrows. So let's do that. And... Quick save! <laughs> the quick save master! Okay. Let's kill this guy. Now, now there is going to be some other stuff besides kobolds in these caves. I forget exactly what, but was that a trap? Critical hit averted by a helmet. Oh man, that was a uh, brutal almost. Not really. We're good. I can just heal him with this spell, and he's back up. One of the things that I'm going to want to do, though, is explore with this guy first. Because I'm pretty sure there's some more deadly enemies around in this area that is worth a little bit more experience. So if I want to, I can kind of uh, just kind of chill in this area and see if there's some, some better dudes. Oh, another trap. I forgot that there's so many traps in this area. I knew that there was like a few, but I have forgotten how many. So many places oh, right hit hard. Oh, there go. The well, let's make this chick go semi-fast no, behind this, this be guy. A good place for a hang. Let's heal up Khalid. Maybe even just chug a potion. Alright, we's ready to keep on trucking. Uh, click on someone your own size. Right, there's only going to be more kobold down this this path, I think. Or did I take the right path? I don't remember which path it is. Maybe that's why I'm running into things I don't know. Let's kill this guy. You're a clear fellow. Boom. Kasplushi headshot. I think I made a loop. Yeah, I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Alright, wait now. Where am I? <laughs> uh Oh, I think it's down here somewhere, actually. Has been a while. Let's just, uh, let's explore this, though, first. Let's just see if there's, no, there's nothing there. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. Uh, exploration fail! Okay. Let's just go back this way. Yeah, I just didn't go far enough down. So let's just go this way. Through here. Right, you can walk over this. For some reason, I thought that you couldn't. Right, this is the way. So this is actually, uh, you can actually run into spiders here, I think. Uh, they are poisonous, so uh, these are huge spiders. So what I want to do is actually use my ranged guys and get as many attacks off on these, these guys as possible for kind of uh, getting them to attack. Khalid, and just hopefully Khalid doesn't get like crit or something like that. And there we go. Easy, um, easy 540 experience right there. Just killing two two giant spiders. Evil. Now, if you've ever if you ever want to challenge playing this game, there's actually uh, like, you could actually try soloing this game. Basically, what I'm trying to say is. You can solo the game. It's really, really hard. Uh, you're probably gonna have to play some sort of multi-class type character, but your character levels up so fast because all the experience is shared that uh, it just is. Uh, it works out kind of cool because you just you end up with so much experience. So these guys are shooting actually like flaming arrows at me. So I gotta be really careful. And these commandos? That's a kobold commando. If it's trying to kill him. Succeed, the only problem with having so many ranged dudes is like, without that kind of medium ground, is that it ends up like getting kind of 
cluster effy and uh, you your get kind of welcome part of you of get kind group. of stuck behind your own characters and if they're attacking it's one thing uh, if or if you're out of combat it's one thing and if you're in combat it's totally different like you you actually block people in combat out of combat you can kind of push if there's an area to push and this is another area where there's going to be lots home? of traps so I, I forget exactly how many but there's quite a few, I think. Yeah, there's like three. Let's get them all. Yeah. All right. And this is actually going to be the last area inside here. Or not the very last area, but this is... We're actually almost done with these caves already. If, you, if you're you curious about that. Um, the caves themselves, not too much in them. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably a few drops, uh, like, in the, the, in, like, the grand scheme. Probably only, like, a handful of things. Uh, not too much. But, uh, you can, um, you can tell that, uh, a lot of this isn't as worth it, just solely because of how few experience points you get. Like, these kobold, uh, are these all, no, like, these are regular ones. The, the commando types are worth killing because they're worth a little bit more experience, and they drop fire arrows, I'm pretty sure. So what I can end up doing is actually picking up all this stuff, and um, do my best. I think maybe my guy might know what fire arrows are. Maybe. Nope, he doesn't. Damn. Maybe she does? Maybe she does? Nope, nobody knows. It doesn't really matter, though. I know what they are. So what I can end up doing is actually just giving them to this guy and putting him on like that, and then he'll shoot those four fire arrows before he shoots regular arrows. So let's get this going. Quick save this, and actually save it on a regular game to boss one, because the boss is in the next room over, and he can be a doozy if you're not ready for it, so uh, there's that. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, here's some kobolds, some just regular kobolds. These guys will just die really fast, probably. Oh, he used his fire arrows. Dang, I didn't mean to, for him to use fire arrows on freaking nothing. But, oh well. Just quick save that. Let's go over here. Now, this guy, Zahn, he's a character that you can recruit. He's been like prisoner here or something and uh, he has like some unique skills but do my best. for this this whole thing freedom, friend, we're not going to take it. I have languished in these dismal vaults too long. Um, how did you come to be trapped? Alas, I was sent to investigate the strain going on in this area and I landed caged for my seemingly hopeless weeks on end. I have not seen the sun almost as long as I have not seen my home. So he's been stuck here quite a while, I think. Um, certainly you're welcome to join me in another pair of hands, especially when they wield powerful magics. Um, except for no, it's hard to try to keep our hopes without you bringing them down. I'd rather you didn't join us. If that's the case, I don't want you in my group. How effective can you be if you were captured by this lot? Let's just be a dick. There's no need to be rude. I will go back to my home of Everesca and leave the lot of you on your hopeless quest. If it Whatever, Zan or Zan. I don't care. Alright. So... How this battle is going to work is, is actually it's actually kind of intense. So what I want to actually do is have m my guys positioned really well. What? But this guy comes over and starts the fight right away, so I didn't have the positioning off very well. So um, Tzak must have dispatched you, and my treacherous kobolds let you pass, didn't they? I knew they could not trust them, armed as such. They have obviously been sent to kill me. By Sirik, not a measure of ore leaves this man unspoiled, and I am still to be executed. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, basically, oh crap, okay. So, look at how many enemies just spawn as soon as you start this fight. So, let's get... He's gonna go off and try and, uh... And fight all these guys. I'm gonna start buffing out my characters. Send Khalid forward so that he tanks a lot of these guys and start unleashing on Tzak with spells because if I don't then he'll end up um, he'll end up casting stuff that I don't want him to cast and that's no good so oh man 
I got that wand of lightning too, but as well as I can. What does this chick have for special slow poison? Go here. Do that. All right. Well, what about my I, I had thought one of these guys the are gonna start coming in now. Okay, so he's, he's starting to cast spells now. And he's a cleric, so I don't want him to actually cast spells. So I'm gonna keep on unleashing stuff on him and see I and mean, hopefully that disrupt yeah that disrupted his spell so now he's kind of almost out of spells uh, looks like we got a heal up a little bit let's just make uh let's make uh this guy go berserk and now he's gonna like he's just gonna go crazy on these guys i can't control him but he's gonna he's actually much stronger now so he'll kind of cut through dudes uh oh all right, that's not good. Your command. So these guys just got held or charmed or something. What is it? This guy got held, and this guy's still just berserk. So I, I don't have control over these guys no matter what. But as good as done. I basically want to try and oh, strand out of bullets. By your, I know not your gold, but you uh, don't get off the spells. Don't get off the spells. Oh, I got it off. Oh, it's all good. We're still doing pretty good, actually. Actually, that was really good. Not Oh, see, okay, the only thing that's bad about that, going berserk as uh, Minsk, is he kind of loses his mind and just starts, like, attacking everyone on sight. So, that's not good. So, you gotta watch out for that. Alright, we got lots of loot here now. Um, got all his stuff. He drops a bag. What is this? Morningstar and chainmail. I don't remember if he needs this stuff. Well, we got the holy symbol. Which is part of a... This is a bag of holding. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is like... um. This is one of those bags of the Sword Coast thing. They give you a bag of holding just so that you... So that you have one in the first game. And a bag of holding is actually really awesome. It's one of the coolest things that you could actually have in the game. Because it, it just like... You could put stuff in there and it the weight is gone completely. So now I, I can put that bag in my backpack... And all that kind of stuff. It's one of the badassiest things you could possibly have. Put all that away. Now, I gotta identify all this stuff. And so, what I'm gonna do is before I rest the next time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of, uh, kind of make sure that I have identifies ready. Because I don't want to spend money on identifying. That's like the worst waste of money. You could, I mean, it's not like a waste if you know if you know what something is or what you're getting out of it. But it is one of those things that's like kind of lame to. It is certain that the oh. death of Mullahay will relieve the fears of the terrorized folk of Nashkel. But you remain uneasy. While the half orc may indeed have caused the evils that befell the mine, the shortage of iron is too widespread to be his doing alone. His letters confirm your suspicions, and though they give little indication as to where his cohorts are hiding, they may have links to the bandits that currently plague the coast way. Yay. So that was the end of that chapter. And got lots of stuff in here. Oh, she ran out of room. Come here. Come here, yo. Come here. Now this sword that I just picked up is uh is actually only usable by Zan. Or basically it's basically one of the best actual weapons in the game, but it's Zan's blade, so... Boop. Or I could just put it in, like, the, the bag of holding or something like that. But, uh... Oh, a level 2 spell. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, let's check and see what sort of things that I picked up, actually. Um, Infravision... I can write that down. That's already down. Charm person. Write that down. Sure. Write this down. Nope. Okay. Write this down. Yay! I got a second level spell now. Web. What does web do? Creates a many layered mass of strong sticky strands similar to spider webs but far larger and tougher. The web spell covers a maximum area of about 30 feet in radius, roughly the same size as a fireball. Uh, creatures caught within the web or simply touching them become stuck among the gluey fibers. So basically, they they um they throw a they throw a blah 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 they they throw their dice pretty much and if they if they fail their their check 
then basically what ends up happening is they get stuck in place, which is really awesome for us because, oh, there's still stuff here. Your honesty is because uh, a lot of my guys are ranged, well, so if, the, if there's just dudes stuck in a web, then they just basically have a free hits. Full plate, and you travel with Minsk. What's he doing? Why is he attacking one of my own guys? I'll do another friend fallen. Does it never end? Another friend? What is he talking about? None of us are dead. <laughs> He's freaking me out, man. He's just, I don't know what to think anymore. So we got all the stuff that we'll, all the loot, the mad loot. And uh, actually, there's a pretty decent amount of stuff that we just found. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wear it because I know what it does. But I want you guys to kind of discover what it does as well at the same time. So what we're gonna do is kind of go back to the Nashgal area and uh, figure out what they are together, so that we get all excited. <laughs> so let's go do that. Actually, come here, Khalid. You go first. Go first, Khalid. Now there are some pretty tough battles up ahead. Um, pretty close. Um, one of them is kind of these. Is this just the regular dudes, though? I can't remember if these guys... These guys are really hard to kill sometimes. Uh, not, not that time, though. Or I'm thinking of something else. Never mind, actually. These ones aren't too hard to kill. They do have some damage resistance, though, I think. So, we do a little bit less damage to them. But nothing that we can't handle. So, let's go... Exit, exit, exit. There it is. For some reason, it's like out pretty far. But this is this is cool because it's just uh, it's an exit basically. So if you if you knew about this before, technically, I think you could just go in the back way and skip the mines completely. But uh, since uh, <laughs> since I'm kind of doing things together, then. And it's it's worth it. I'll so um, <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do now is actually is actually try and rest. I think and let's go let's get some let's get some identifies up in this and just you rest. You were out of sleep with a chill. Oh, and here we go with a dream sequence again. Calm. It is though someone has walked across your grave, and for a moment you wonder if it was you. With this thought, the ground beneath you opens and you are swept into the dark. When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Mullahe hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you, a dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart, its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. Oh my god, that was intense, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh yeah, we rested first, on the first try too. On your own side. Time to identify some stuff. So we got boots of grounding, electricity resistance plus fifty percent. Uh, this is a really good thing to just put on your tank, so that uh, he can last against spells of electrical type. Um, I forgot that we actually had a sword. I should I should have done that too. 
Wand of Frost, so I can put that there now. And this one is probably Ring of Holiness. Grants an extra spell of each level from first to fourth. So that's really powerful. An extra spell of like all that all that stuff. So now I can go to this and I have an extra spell of everything. Um, I don't have third level spells or fourth level spells yet, but as soon as I'm able to actually learn those, I'll have an extra one right away. So that's really, really useful. So what do we got here that we could use possibly? No alignment, fine traps, charm person or mammal, resist fire cold. Resist fire cold might actually be pretty good. Um, or fine traps. Actually, let's just get fine traps up there and I can show people kind of what that is. Barkskin would probably be a good one too. Um, another one is just uh, Cure Light Wounds is pretty good. Let's see. Actually, let's get Entangle. Let's get some Entangle action in there. Give me some direction. <laughs> and uh, oh. this uh, this short sword is actually a short sword plus one. I know that for sure. Oops. Not that. Can she learn this? Oh, she can learn identify as well. Should have given that to her before I slept, but hey, whatever. I'm waiting. It's all good. Eventually, I'll just have so much lore that all these items will kind of be identified on their own. I just don't know if anyone has this, the knowledge of of identifying all these low tier items Go yet. Do that. What about my Pretty sure no. Yeah, no. So we gotta wait for that, but I know that it, well, I know what it is, so I can actually just give it to give it to her and just put that on and we'll eventually do some some stuff with that. Now we got some notes. This is a letter to Mullahe from Tezuk or Tezok. And then we got a letter from to Mullahe from Tezok again. Actually, we get both these are. So we should keep these for now in case we need them. I can't remember if we do or not, but we might. So let's give er, let's give these to our tank so he is full up on, on potions for now. We got the bag of holding. It's just a large shield. Let's put some stuff away. Oh, actually, I think that's yeah, pretty much now. it. Need your my best. But now I'm actually gonna um, I'm going to get ready for the next the next confrontation, which is gonna be kind of big, I think. So let's get greases. The grease might be kind of good, maybe for the next confrontation. Hmm. Protection from evil, protection from petrification, armor, shocker. Charm person. Might be fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it for now. So let's quick save it, and this is where I'm going to end this episode of Boulder's Gate Trilogy, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all the fun and all that all. jazz. Folks. Don't forget to triple thread it, as in comment thumbs up and favorites if you I'll do like best. watching the series, as that will directly help me and the channel grow the even bigger. Of, of goodness. So, until Certainly the next episode, guys, help. take it easy.